Hey guys, and welcome finally to My Hero Academia Trials of Legends. This is our brand new, pretty much SMP My Hero Academia kind of series. If you saw our previous Demon Slayer series, this is like that, but with a whole new kind of vibe. <laughs> Instead of it being a third life series, this is a team v team series. This is a heroes versus villain series. We have a bunch of YouTubers joining this series, some that are from the previous series and some new faces along the mix. And our goals are throughout the week to level up and get as powerful as we can. So then when the weekends come, everyone's gonna jump on the server and there are gonna be different missions for the heroes to take part in and the villains to take part in. Those missions could be anything like rescue a hostage and the villains have to kill the hostages. and yeah, there's a lot of plans. I don't want to spoil too much stuff. So, uh, we're actually up on top of the spawn island. Everyone's already started doing their stuff for the series, which is which is kind of ironic considering, you know, I, I started this, this freaking server. But anyway, <laughs> that's besides the point. We are going to be going a hero. And as you see, we have been given three random quirk tokens. Because to make this interesting, instead of spawning in and starting with the quirk you spawn with, no, 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 we instead are going to make it so you could have three chances to get a different quirk. But whatever you get, you've got to stick with it until you get another random quirk token. These will appear in missions. These will also appear in dead player bodies and stuff like that. So there are a number of things which, uh, a number of ways of which you can actually get these quirk tokens. So let's go down to the floor and see what we actually get. And I should, I should probably jump out of creative mode before we actually begin, shouldn't we? Let's go down and begin. Uh, 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 why is there already a dead body? <laughs> why is there? Okay, that's fine. It's going nighttime. It's fine. Let's see what quirk we begin with. Please be something good. Please. Strong arm. Ah, uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I want strong arm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're going to try that again. And next quirk is boom. Oh, uh, okay. Flame blast. I actually don't mind, but I want to try something a bit different. Let's see if we can get something else. So the last quirk we're going to get is... Uh, oh, 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 one for all. We got one. No, all for one. We got all for one. No way. <laughs> well, now that we know what we've got, let's apply our superhero skin and actually see what it looks like. Because I have actually set something up, so I'm keen to show you guys. There we go. This is our superhero skin. As you can see, we have like an exoskeleton helping with the power of one for all. Or no, all for one. God, that's going to take me a while to get used to. We have an exoskeleton on the back of our spine. We have some small little subtle things like glowing eyes, a glowing core, helping show that I actually have an exoskeleton in my body to help me harness the power of all for one. There we go. Yes, I do. No, wait, one for all. Ah, gosh. I'm going to stuff this name up so much. So technically, we are actually part robot. So are we a, are we a cyborg? Are we a cyborg? Is it is it a cyborg if you're half person, half robot? I don't know, but we're that pretty much. So we have stronger kneecaps. We have these arm protection barriers helping and they float there, which look freaking mad. We obviously have our Iron Man chest piece type thing and glowing eyes and our back support brace. This is our skin. This is our superhero skin. And I can't believe we actually got one for all. Oh man, I'm in disbelief. Let's see now. Everyone's actually already been on the server for a while. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> What we could actually do and what we could find. I need uh, I need to actually start leveling up and getting some stuff. Because uh, my powers, oh, they hurt me to start with, which is just amazing, isn't it? Okay, Super Devil is online currently. Uh, maybe I can meet up with him because I <laughs> he's probably been on the server for quite a while already. And I, I'm already going to be starving to death. So uh, <laughs> let's, you know what, hold on. Is he in a group? Uh, how do I get to my group? It's this. Is he there? Well, hello there. What? Oh, I need to turn your volume up. I have my quirk now. I just need food. Do you have food? Please. Uh, I do. Please, I where do. where are you? I need food. I'm starving. I am thousands of blocks away. You're so thousands of blocks away. Should I use my uh, instant transmission quirk? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku. <laughs> oh. <laughs> where am I? Hello. Hey, that quirk really comes in handy. Huh? I know. It's very handy. I can only use it once every 10 episodes, though. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. Oh, uh, we're hero. Yes, you're a hero. Oh, thank goodness. For a second, I thought I teleported to a yeah. villain. Do you want to see what quirk I got? I'm not going to aim it at anyone. Eh. <laughs> I got one for all. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I'm surprised I got Hi. that one. I'm very surprised. Uh, don't get me wrong. It was my last quirk token. So the other two quirks <laughs> weren't the best. I got uh, a strong fist. And then I got your same one, the fire one, the blue fire. And then my final one, I managed to get one for all. Or all for one. All for one? No, one for all. For oh, man, I stopped at the names. I should probably focus on trying to get some materials set up. Uh, you know what? You're on my side. 
We're 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 teens. We're with ooh food. No, what's that? <gasps> boat. Yes. You gonna need a boat. Let's go. All right, yo. So. I need to figure out. Do you know the quickest way to level up? Is it attacking my hero mobs or actual normal Minecraft mobs? My hero. My hero. Okay, Definitely. well, I'm going to get obliterated if I try to fight one of them. Okay, time to figure something out. Don't mind me. I'm going to just go find a mob spawner and make a mob spawning room. I feel like that's the easiest way for me to level up quickly. I'm just going to inform you what my plan is currently because you obviously have got an audience. But I'm just going to go find a mob spawner. You're going to see some achievements pop up in chat. And you're going to see, like, I've beaten the Ender Dragon. You're going to see me, like, beat the Wither. So you're going to see all of that in the next 10 minutes, all right? So prepare yourself. I'm not going to place money on that. That is very dumb. Uh, but I'm placing something on it, all right? I will place my... I don't know. You're going to place your quirk on it, all right? My quirk... No, I ain't placing my quirk on it. See, here's the thing that worries me. I have a really good... Uh, if I get powerful enough, I have a really strong attacking quirk. And you have a really good attacking quirk as well. I hope that not everyone on our team just wants to go attacking quirks. Because, yeah, it's helpful in battle. But what if we get swarmed by an invisible person? Like, we can't do crap against it. I, I hope someone does get a, ra a raise. Whatever it's called. The I like that quirk. That quirk's really powerful. Okay. Oh, <gasps> axolotls! <gasps> I found an axolotl. Hello. Oh, I can pick him up. I, I picked my axolotl. <gasps> it's riding on my back. Oh, I'm going to dip so I can stop getting distracted. Good luck. Uh, uh, May the best man win. No, we're on the same team. That doesn't make sense. All right, good luck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and okay, we got a little bit of insider information. Uh, um, you know, I should probably put the axolotl down, shouldn't I? But we got a little bit of insider information then. So obviously, some of the heroes and villains have already started fighting it out, which is a little funny to me. So what I'm thinking we probably do is I want to try in this video to actually set up a mob spawning dungeon room. Now, that's going to sound crazy because we actually have to find a mob spawner. But we do have a ton of custom structures that spawn across the world. So I personally think we should be finding with finding a mob spawning room. If we can find one, then we are going to set up a mob spawning dungeon, and if we can do that, we are going to be even more set with actually leveling up our quirk. I feel like that's the main thing we need to focus on doing, especially if we've got uh, all for what? no, one for all, especially if we have one for all, that is the main thing we need to focus on doing. That is absolutely critical. So, I'm probably going to make a little bit of effort now. This part's probably going to get cut up a crap ton, because literally all I'm going to be doing now is just getting stuff like books, like from the villagers, trying to get as many diamonds as I can and pretty much set up a little underground base and probably go from there. I don't know. <laughs> don't kill me, please. But we're probably going to set up a little underground base somewhere and go hunting for a mob spawning room. I, I feel like we could find one pretty easily. Our quirk is not strong. So at this current point, I feel like this video, we're mainly, <laughs> yeah, in this video, we're mainly just going to be trying to stay alive using Minecraft strategies. That's all we can do. So fingers crossed. Why am I grabbing beds? I'm not trying to speed run the game. Gosh, damn it. But I am pretty confident. Oh man, okay. <laughs> okay, that's scary. Okay, that's enough I think of that. No, damn it. Well, uh, I forgot. I thought you only had to do it twice. <laughs> So, uh, we're back to spawn. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to cut. And I feel like once we actually start finding some stuff, that's when it's going to get interesting for you guys. So, hopefully this doesn't take too long. <laughs> oh, hold up. That is a shipwreck, isn't it? Yes, that is definitely a shipwreck. I'm expecting it to probably have already been looted. But just in case, let's check it out. Please, 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 please. Yes. Oh, yes. Let's go. All right, there we go. And then, boom. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. All right, sick. Now we can actually make up some iron stuff. It's not much, but it should be able to defend me, hopefully, for a little bit at least. What the heck is that? <gasps> it's a dead body. Oh, I found a dead body. Wait. Oh, that's a bad sign. Wait, why is there a dead body here? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, hello? Fish. Okay. Kind of sus. <laughs> the body just floats there. Wait, corpse of Chathrinka. <laughs> that is amazing. Wait, did he drop XP? No way. Oh, let's go! 18 levels of XP? Uh, I don't think that affects this. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay. But, uh, sure. Well, okay, so Chathrika was out here. All right. I wonder if he actually did end up looting this then. Let's have a little look. And no, he did not. Not at all. All righty. Sick. I'll take that, boys. So far, we are okay. This village doesn't look like it's been looted. I just want to find a bed. If I can find a bed, I'll be a lot more comfortable. <laughs> Please, just find a bed. Don't walk into a cactus. Don't walk into a cactus. That's all I need. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to sleep. <laughs> Okay, that was good. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to grab this bed as well. So then we have one. Now let's eat. Oh, thank goodness. All right. We're a lot more comfortable now. <laughs> 
My plan still hasn't changed. I was just scared that I was going to die that whole time. So now we still have seven iron left, so I could technically make some pants, but I think for now we might save that and let's actually make ourselves up some freaking food because your boy is starving. I am going to die any second. I was terrified that whole time. And yo, for a second, I thought you were wearing netherite. So now that we have food, let's... Let's get back to looking for actual good stuff. I'll take this freaking biome over any desert any day. I've been running across that desert for like 10 minutes of real world time. So I'm gonna take this any day over anything else. Screw you desert. Second, let's try and get in, in, as far away as we can from it because I was running in that desert for 10 to 15 minutes and I do not want to do that again. I will happily stay out of any desert for the rest of this series because I am over seeing freaking sand, okay? I'll take any other biome. <laughs> And no, no, that doesn't mean ocean. I don't want ocean, okay? I want to stay on land, preferably. Oh, yes! Oh, finally! That means we have diamonds, boy! Oh, th thank goodness. Okay, I'm trying to think of how many diamonds I want to try and get. Hey, Lapis, I'll take that as well. But I'm trying to think of how many diamonds I want to get before we start proceeding to actually just looking for people to fight and building a base. Because obviously, I want to try and find a mob spawner down here. So far, I've had no luck at all, and I'm mainly just looking for emeralds and diamond. But if I do find enough for a full set of diamond armor and I still haven't found a mob spawner, I think at that point, I feel like we're just going to have to go out and fight and make up a base somewere and just hope to the Hope for the best, pretty much. So you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna keep looking for diamonds, and depending if we find diamonds first or mob spawner first, we'll, we'll plan around it. Hey, yes, let's go. More diamonds. I, you know what? I'm pretty confident with, oh my gosh. I'm pretty confident with how many diamonds we're at. Bro, I'm pretty confident with how many diamonds we've got. 19 diamonds. That is pretty freaking good. Let's actually, oh, how much could that give us? Hold on, let's actually find out. So if I do, so we can get a chest plate and then boom, bam. Awesome. We can obviously make ourselves up some leggings. All right. Uh, we should probably, you know, let's actually turn it on for now just so we can see it. And we have four left. I feel like we may as well make ourselves up a diamond pickaxe just so we have one. And uh, by the way, the villains already have an enchanting table. Ooh, okay. Noted. <laughs> If the villains already have an enchantment table, I feel like we've got to represent a little bit. I feel like we've got to get all the diamonds for our team. Or not all of them, but enough for our team. Not as like a share it kind of thing, but more of a... What's the kind of word I could say? More of a, hey, as long as we have enough diamonds to keep ourselves protected, we could also make up an enchantment table. And I do have... No, I don't. No, I don't. Did I get rid of them? I thought I had books. Oh, I thought I had books. Or am I blind? Am I blind? Am I blind? Yes, I'm blind. Okay, thank goodness. We have some books. So I feel like we could probably actually get a fully maxed out enchantment table eventually. So I'm going to keep at it. We're doing really good so far. And I keep grabbing my bed every so often. So we are doing really good so far. Let's keep hunting for some more diamonds. I want to make a full set of armor. And then once we have a full set of diamond armor, I'm probably then going to try and get some diamonds for an enchantment table. And then we'll start continuously looking for a mob spawning room. I think this should be plenty of diamonds. This is, how many diamonds is this? Come on, come on, come on. My, 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 mine. Thank you. How many diamonds is that so far? We have 18. 18 diamonds. That is four, five, that is nine. And then we have plenty for an enchantment table and we can make a sword as well. We are set. That is enough diamonds. Now we got to start hunting for uh, literally any mob spawning thing. That is our plan currently. So hopefully we can find a mob spawner somewhere. Uh, actually, before I proceed, no, that's Endeavor. For a second, I thought that was a mob spawner. Holy crap. But now let's just start looking for a mob spawner. That is our current plan. And we could probably set up everything there. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that, is that what I think it is? Oh, that is so a mob spawner. No way. There's no way. It is. That is a mob spawning room. Okay. We found one. Okay. All right. I need to be smart. I need to be smart. Let's set up our bed quickly. Holy crap. We actually found one. Okay. Let's uh, just plonk the crafting table there. Put some torches around here so we don't get jumped out of nowhere by a monster. And wait a freaking minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Is this just underground stuff? Uh, okay. No. Okay. Leave the villains. I'm not dying today. Thank you very much. Dude. All right. Okay. I'm just happy that we actually found one. Please, 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 don't. please, please, please. Yes, hold on. Oh, dude, there is no way. Dude, oh, yo, it is actually, wait, what's this? Quite the renovation. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that mean? Find an upgraded monster room. Dude, 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 no way. All right, let's just cover that quickly in some torches. Have a quick little look in here. Nothing major, but this is a mob spawning room. We can transform all of the... I'm hearing tons of zombies. I'm thinking there's another thing around us. Maybe a mineshaft. But 
this thing we can actually turn into our own mob spawning room cycle thing. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> that is what I am going to freaking do. And in all honesty, we could actually probably have it. So instead of the zombies just going up, we could probably just have them drop down because this isn't... How far up are we? Oh no, I need to Google stuff. 23 blocks. Ah, oh, we literally would only need to send them up a tiny bit. But I think we need to get magma or... No, we need to get soul sand for that. We don't have soul sand. That is for sure. Okay, I'm just going to have to rely on them falling about like 16 blocks, which is still enough. Like that's still a good amount. It just won't instant kill them. So it's going to be a little slower. But when we eventually do go to the nether, I can easily upgrade it, can't I? That's fine. <laughs> Let's just actually set this thing up. I'm so excited. Muscular shows up. Oh, <laughs> how am I going to kill him? He's in the mob sporting room. What the frick am I going to do? Um, uh, <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what to do. All I can think is if I grab my bed and then leg it, I can probably quickly put the bed up here like that. Set my spawn point. There we go. I, I have no idea what to do. I have some iron. Maybe I can make up a... Uh, a bucket of lava and trap him in there and like burn him alive. That's going to sound so stuffed up, but that's the only idea I freaking got currently. Do that and then plonk, plonk, plonk and just do that. Okay, there. No, my body's in there. I just realized my body with all my stuff's in there. Oh no. <laughs> I've just lost all my stuff, haven't I? Oh, I'm an idiot. Huh? Oh my God. Yes. Okay, yes, transfer items. Oh, thank goodness for that. Holy crap. Well, that was extremely lucky. I thought for us, I thought absolutely we had lost everything then. So, holy crap, thank goodness for that. Uh, <laughs> I am terrified of villains. They can suck it. I never wanted to see another muscular. And if I do, I will kill him. I will pull an actual Deku and rip his freaking arms off. I hate him. Holy crap, that was terrifying. Okay, now with that experience out of the way, uh, should I? I should probably get back to finishing off this thing, shouldn't I? Voila, it is done. This is, I think, four blocks down, is it? So one, two, three, four. Yes, four blocks down, four blocks up, four blocks from every single side. This is the mob spawning room. All we have to do now is actually set up the water at the bottom and then we're pretty much all set. So I guess uh, I, I have no water near me, so I'm gonna have to go looking for some, aren't I? Uh, that's fine. I've set my spawn, that's fine. I could probably find some right around here, maybe, hopefully. Boop, and boop, and boop. There we go, uh, and yes. I can. Awesome. Okay, there we go. We've got a little setup down here at the bottom of their tower. I feel like this should be good. We should now have a little base kind of area set up. I should now just need to get rid of all the torches and it should hopefully, fingers crossed, work. I'm not going to lie when I say I'm not overly confident. So let's quickly get rid of all the things that we can and just hope for the best. I am really just hopeful at this point that this is actually going to work. Oh, yo, wait, it actually works. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Okay, that. Oh, shit. Oh, don't touch me. Okay, then get rid of that one. And that should be it. Okay, sick boys. We did it. All right, now I just uh, get rid of this. No. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This is bad. This is not the best idea so far. Let's block that off. No, let's block that off. There we go. And then if I just get rid of this... There we go. That should hopefully do that. Okay. And then I just need to be quick about this, right? Okay, there's some zombies down there that's going to attack me a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Break this torch. And break that. Go, 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 go. Break, break, break. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Blocked it off. Thank you. 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 Thank you for that. That was fun. All right, boys. We did it. <laughs> That could have gone so much better. Oh, but there we go. We now have a zombie spawner room thingy. My boba. I don't know what to call it, but there we freaking go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that could have gone so much better at the end, but there we go. Uh, I think it now works. It should. Okay, so it actually doesn't work unless we actually are this close to the spawner, which is okay. I feel like this is all right. You know what? All we have to do is literally just set it up like this and we just stand here. And then when we feel like there's enough zombies there, we can easily just go back down. So all these zombies are going to be there. Uh, we will put glass here eventually so they don't all get distracted by me. But now if we just go down, the zombies will literally fall. Uh, so just gives a second. Go down here. There we go. And all the 
the way down. Hey zombies, what's up? There we go, and then we could just do this. In the end, it does technically work. It's just not the most efficient one that I've ever built, so <laughs> I'm personally pretty happy with it. So before we end this video off, let's quickly make one last thing. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to tell what I'm making, aren't ya? I'm pretty sure. We just need four obsidian, nothing much, you know, nothing crazy. And then all we need to do is just this. There we go. All right, sick. Uh, now I guess all we should probably do is we don't have much wood. So for now, I'm just going to set it up and probably give my sword a little enchantment just so we actually get the achievement. Just so we let our heroes know we have it. Wait a second. Uh, <laughs> hold up. I just noticed my XP. Whoa. That has got to be a bug because I do not have 115,799 XP. And if I do... Oh, well, gosh, damn. Oh, <laughs> that is mad. All right, hold on. Let's see if this fixes it. So sharpness. No, we actually have that. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I uh, don't know how we got that. I have no idea at all, so that is crazy. Uh, hopefully that doesn't go. That will be very helpful for the future. But there we go, guys. That is where I'm going to end episode one of this series. If you guys did enjoy episode one and want to see episode two even quicker, then you know what to do. Leave a thumbs up on this video and every single like we get is actually going to show me that you guys are enjoying this series. So please be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And of course, like always, be sure to check out all the new content creators that are in this series. If you want to check them all out, there is a link in the description description down below as well to actually go check everything out and see all the new people. They're all going to be uploading at different times and stuff like that, so be sure to go check them out. And who knows, you might find a new channel that you actually really like watching. The final thing I want to ask you guys is what superhero name should I have? Because we have a fake name mod, so I can actually call myself anything and it will change my name in game to appear as that. So, I, got, I want you guys to come up with a name for me. So this is obviously what we look like. Let's quickly turn all our armor off. But this is obviously our superhero getup. We have have one for all. So I want to see some good name suggestions down below and the best I'm going to pick out and have as my superhero name for next video. But anyway, guys, my name is Troy. I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.